Oh, good morning all you lovely people welcome back to grumpy old get in the corner get the day right today on a friday <laughs> had a beautiful red sky out there this morning mm, a few clouds about but uh, apparently we got 40 percent chance of rain here all right round up of the week last one of the week so we've now got a, a provisional date for the debate on the uh, petition that's been going around mm. numbers are getting up there aren't they but uh, will it be a debate well that's debatable <laughs> because I think all Comrade Starmer's going to do is walk in and say it ain't fucking happening end of you know numbers don't phase him at all he's on his path he's got his orders but it might be interesting to watch to see what he has to say about it if he can be bothered to turn up that is but um it was put out there yesterday that now um they're going to start giving news blackouts you know pushing us further into the 1984 scenario of news speak and shit like that now, <laughs> not that mainstream media have uh, sh ever shown us the truth, but they're on about um, blacking out certain things, blocking them from uh, showing and talking about certain things for reasons of national security. They don't want us scared. They don't want us getting riled up. Well, we saw what happened when they covered stuff up and basically gave a block out on the Southport killings, didn't we? We saw where that led. Now, in the film 1984, Newspeak, and I've got to get this right, is described as a purposefully ambiguous and confusing language with restricted grammar using limited vocabulary to diminish the range of personal personal thought and speech. Sound familiar? Trying to suppress people's thoughts and accept government lies and propaganda without question. And if you do question it, it criminalises you. Where have we heard that before? Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, an example of this, um, say, multiple stabbings in London. All they do is declare it a terror incident. Instant news blackout. Personally, I think they're running scared. They're scared shitless of what the public are likely to do. They're scared of the people. But the thing they're missing here is things like that just accelerate conspiracy theories and the conspiracy theories are the ones that cause the issues you know they are going full totalitarian on us we already have the thought police where it's more of a crime to speak out against authority than commit rape or murder and if we don't do something very soon this country is absolutely fucked this guy has lost the plot he's not right in the fucking head now <laughs> do you think we'd really miss a serious terror incident I don't think so somebody will talk about it somebody will put it out there but uh, and again now he's um, after destroying a lot of the businesses in this country with this last budget Starmer came out with yesterday in a speech we will stop businesses employing people from overseas we will also crack down on any abuse of the visa routes for far too long we've been casual about malpractice in our labour market which sends a clear signal overseas that we're a soft touch well no more our rules will be enforced 
Any employers who refuse to play ball, they'll be banned from hiring overseas labour. So does that mean that uh, all the immigrants that are already here working, um, for example, Indian restaurants, Chinese restaurants, the takeaways, you know, the um, wholesale warehouses, will they all have to employ Brits, get rid of their staff that they've got? Yeah. Now, don't forget, Comrade Starmer used to uh, earn millions of pounds from fighting for these illegal immigrants to stay here. Mm. You don't just change your fucking colours like that, do you? You know, he, he's just a hypocrite, basically. But then, um, Silver Fox brought up an interesting one yesterday. Um, with uh, Reeves in a country destroying budget you know many many companies now have already closed uh, many bigger ones are going to close there's millions of billions of pounds disappearing out of the country as the uh, rich entrepreneurs millionaires businessmen pick up their bags and leave because of this budget but he brought up the interesting one yesterday of the aviation industry apparently they're saying they're going to be cutting back on staff which means they'll be cutting back on flights obviously so there'll be fewer destinations for you to be able to fly to when you want your holiday and uh, they even go as far as shutting some of the airports because they will just become unviable now, the issue with that as well is, don't forget, we've got quite a large um, aviation service in this country that carries freight, goods coming in and out of the country. Yeah, that could be disappearing, couldn't it? I mean, well done, Starmer. You have done what a whole fucking army couldn't do. And that is destroyed this country. Unbelievable. And finally, this this one made me laugh. Um, you think the justice system is fair and equal in this country? Are the judges that well educated? Well, you wouldn't think so with some of the sentences they've been hanging out and some of the ones they've been sending down. But, Supreme Court judges in London, how much do they get paid for their services? Would you believe five of them have sat for three days or more deliberating on what is a woman? <laughs> I shit you not. This is the level of their thinking. Unbelievable, isn't it? Well, I will end it there guys I've got to uh, calm down before I do my blood pressure this morning um, don't forget Mrs W live tonight 7 o'clock um, again as always zero tolerance streams we don't uh, mess around in there we just have a bit of fun maybe the odd bit of news when it comes up but until then have a lovely weekend no matter what you intend to do but as you're doing it stay safe stay strong and stay free respects people